Jamie. Please. Mac, you're going to be all right. We're taking you to Bay City. Rachel, you better sit down. For Jamie. Jamie and Sandy. Don't worry about them, They're, right. They're going to be all right. I, I would like to say... <gasps> What's happened to him? What's wrong? He's gone into cardiac arrest. Help me. What's happening to him? Medication. Rick? Come on, Mac. Hold on. I'm not going to lose you now. It's okay. He's responding. His heart started again. Man. Buddy, you got to move this thing. I got to get to Bay, Bay City fast. I don't know how much longer he can take this. Mac, you're going to be all right now. You are going to be all right now. And now, the continuing story of Another World. That's it. I think we're all set here. Now we, all we have to do is wait for them to come in. Doctors Mason and Albie been called? Yeah, they're on their way. Is X-ray standing by? They've been alerted, and so is the lab. Okay. All set here. We are. Well, what's the matter? What's going on? You know as well as I do, Mac Corey is being rushed in here with a critical chest wound. It wasn't what I was talking about. <sighs> I'm sorry. What was it then? I was talking about you. Well, what about me? Well, you're the director of nursing. It is a little unusual for you to be down here prepping. Marianne, it is still my responsibility to make sure that my nurses are ready in emergency situations. Look, I just want to be sure that everything is set on our end. But, Alice, I've handled cases like this before, and I, and I told you, we're all ready for when Max brought in. I know. I know. And you've done a great job, honey. Then what's bothering you? It's nothing. Russ just wanted me to double-check, that's all. This has a lot more to do with Matt Corey than anything else, doesn't it? Well, of course it does. He's been seriously injured. Come on, Alice. I know you better than that. I can tell when you're upset. I'm fine. You know, I got to know your moods pretty well when I lived with you in Chicago. <sighs> did you? Yes, I did. So tell me what it is. What's making you so nervous? Is it Mac? Yeah. I'm really worried about him, Marianne. He's given me so much help, support with all my trouble with Sally, and... I just don't want to see him hurt. He's going to be all right, Alice. Rick's with him, and, and when they bring him in here, he's going to get the kind of care that he needs. What is it? Are they here? No, they're not here, no. I did just hear from Rick. And? Well, I'm wondering if he's made the right decision. What do you mean? Well, you know, it was Rick who recommended that Mac be moved, Bay City General. Because he felt the facilities were better here. Yes, yes, but Mac's condition is very unstable. Moving him might not have been a good idea. In fact, Rick may be running out of time. What are you trying to say, Russ? Mac has gone into cardiac arrest in the ambulance. Rick is trying to revive him now. Jamie? Jamie. What happened? Uh, what happened? Uh, that's about the corniest line I ever heard. Couldn't you come up with something a little better than that, my friend? What? Ah, uh, never mind. It's okay. Look, I'll tell you what happened. I, I saw the glint of a rifle barrel on top of the, uh, on top of the hangar. And that was just a split second before the shooting started, so I shoved you down, man. I hit the deck soon after that, uh... Sorry if I shoved you hard, but I didn't figure I had time to be gentle. You all right? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Oh. See. Are you guys all right? Yeah, yeah. listen, Larry, yeah. I think Jamie should be taken to a hospital right away. Huh? Okay. Hey, how's it over here? He's dead. 
The girl's been hit pretty bad. You two men, get her to that ambulance. Shall I get a paramedic for the kid? Yeah. Would you do that? Thanks. Clary, what about Matt? Oh, 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 you're no. alive. I heard those gunshots, and I, I didn't know if you'd been hit or not. Well, thanks to Sandy, I'm okay. Sandy. You pushed me down right before it started, I guess. Thank you. Oh, it was my pleasure. I'm just glad nothing worse happened. It's all right. Philip, have you heard anything about No, wait, wait, just stay. Don't try to get up. No, but... No, no, I'm not kidding. No, just lie Philip, down. Philip, you lie didn't down. answer my question. Is he okay? Is Mac Okay. Stable now, but we had a scare in the ambulance. I almost lost it. Right, vital sign, Rick. Pulse is faint, blood pressure low, but holding. Is he going to be all right, Russ? Look, Rachel, I haven't examined him yet, but believe me, we'll do everything we can to pull him through. his heart started again. Rachel, all I can tell you is we'll do our best. He's in very good hands. Well, will you know something? Russ, I need your opinion here. What's happening, Russ? Yes. What's happening? Look, Rachel, please. We can't treat Mac with you in the room. You're going to have to wait outside. Oh, please let me stay with him, please. No, Rachel. Russ. Now, listen, I promise you that I'll let you know how he's doing as soon as we're finished here. Please huh? don't let him die. Please Wait, don't honey, let him die. Hey, hey, get a hold of yourself now. I'll be out to talk to you as soon as I can. <laughs> The Corey hostage story indicate that gunshots were fired at the airfield as James Frame and Sandy Alexander were being led to waiting jets by the kidnappers. There have been casualties. At this time, the identities of the victims are not known. KBAY reporters have rushed to the scene and will update the story with eyewitness accounts on the dramatic conclusion of this remarkable story. It's also been learned that Mackenzie Corey has been transferred to Bay City General Hospital, right. where he is Fine, reportedly please. in critical condition from He's a gunshot wound to the chest. The story began when local multimillionaire publisher Mac Corey discovered that... Turn that thing off. All I do is get people upset when they don't even know what really happened. Sometimes I hate it that there is a cop. I never know how he is. He goes off on these dangerous missions, and I don't hear from him. Clarice, Larry will call as soon as he can. Now, try not to worry. Hi. Hi, Clarice. Hi, Sally. Hi, I just heard about Mr. Corey on the radio. I don't know what we're going to do without him at the complex. Well, I think he'd be all right. They just took him to the hospital here. Yeah, but still, it doesn't look too good. Well, we don't even know about Jamie and Sandy, and they're the ones being held. My guess is they're fine. I heard earlier that they'd called a SWAT team in. Those guys don't mess around. They're good, and they usually get the job done right. Hello? Yes, this is... I, I mean, I'm clear issuing. Sergeant Anderson? Something happened to Larry? Oh. Oh, thank goodness. Well, we were listening on the radio, but they didn't tell us anything. Oh, no, no, I understand that. Oh, well, thanks for calling. Bye. Oh. Good news? Everything's over. Larry's fine. Great. Oh, I'm so happy oh, I you. couldn't stand waiting. <laughs> well, look, now that we do know that Larry is all right, why don't we all go home? It's been a long day for all of us. How's it be going, too? Denny, how would you like to come by our place and have a snack before you go home? Uh, thanks, Sally, but I'm pretty tired. I had a long day at Black Hawk. You gonna be all right, Clarice? Oh, I, I'm gonna be fine now that Larry's all right. Okay. <clears throat> well, we'll see you later. Yeah, bye, okay. Sally. Okay. I'll call bye. you tomorrow, Clarice. Okay. Bye, Jenny. Philip, what's happened? Look, Jamie, I called in on one of the car radios, and I found out that they transferred Mac. 
from the North Bay Community Hospital, Bay City General. Well, Philip, did they say how he was? It's critical. I'm sorry, Jane. Did you see him at the cabin? Yes, I did. We all did. We, we, we all ran into the cabin as soon as the kidnappers drove off with you. It, Jamie, he didn't, he didn't look good. He'd lost so much blood. Yeah. And, and the police were, were rushing around in all the confusion. Rachel was there. And, and then Rick wouldn't let me ride in the ambulance with Mac. Well, I, Mom was with Mac? Yes, she, she insisted on going in the ambulance with him. Look, I have my car here. Uh, it's okay. Why don't I drive you all back to Bay City? I'll check with Larry. If he doesn't need you anymore, we can leave right away. Thanks, Philip. I no, 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 not Jamie. Jamie, easy, not you, easy. okay? You're waiting for the ambulance. They're getting you to Bay City General Hospital. No, no I'm, I'm, not. I'm not. Jamie. Norton. Larry. Yeah, what's that, Philip? Listen, after the paramedics are finished with Jamie, is it okay if I take Sandy and Cecile back with me to Bay City? Well, I don't see why not. If I need any information, I'll just get it later. Listen, Philip, did anybody ever get a hold of Clarice? Yeah, I had them call from uh, the office. Somebody called her back from the station. Okay, good. I just don't want her to worry. Larry. Yeah, Jamie. Hey, what's taking so long? I want to go see Mac at the hospital now. All right, from the looks of you, that's exactly where you're going. Look, I'm going to be fine. I'm worried about Mac. Yeah, I know you are. But let's just hope when you get back to Bay City, you're going to have some good news for a change, okay? Rachel? How is he? How's Mac? Please, Mrs. Smith, can we go sit down? No, I don't want to sit down. How is he? Rachel, please, will you come over here with me? Did he die? No, honey, he didn't die. Is he all right? Look, I've just examined him. He will require surgery. Well, if you're going to operate, I want to see him. Uh, we're not going to operate just yet. But you just said he needed surgery. Yes, yes, I did, Rachel. The bullet is, is positioned dangerously near the heart. We will extract it, but not until he's stronger. His body just wouldn't stand the shock of surgery right now. But you just can't leave it there. At the moment, we have no choice. He's just, he's simply too weak. We have to allow some time for him to regain strength. Yes, but not removing it could be dangerous, too, couldn't it? Yes, it could. Well, Russ, what are you going to do? You're just going to hang around here Look, and, and wait for him to die? And listen to me. Now, his condition is stable at the moment. We're going to make him as comfortable as we can. But in my opinion, if we rush into surgery, we'll be taking a greater risk than if we wait. You think that'll be best? Yes, I do. Yes, he's being watched very closely. I'll know immediately if there's any change in his condition. What I'm trying to do, Rachel, is to buy time. How much time? Well, uh, I, I don't know. But every moment that Mac hangs on, the better his chances are going to be. Suspended, yeah, yeah. Didn't you know that I'd need you more and more? Won't you let me get away? Ask me to come back. Say it, say it to me now. been confirmed yet. Um, I know they had a SWAT team out at the airport. Someone was hurt. Some people, uh, someone was killed. Who? I don't know. The reports have been kind of sketchy. Um, the police have kept everybody back. So the reporters, uh, they're not sure of what happened. So, have a scotch and water. Sandy could be dead. Uh, Melissa, you're getting all upset over nothing. I'm sure Sandy's okay. 
Jason, Ilsa wanted him dead. So I know if anybody was killed that those thugs made certain it was Sandy. You really have a lot of nerve telling me not to worry. If it wasn't for you, then Ilse's people never would have caught up with him in the first place. Okay, come on. No. You know, Elsa, I could have been ruined. You could have been ruined if I didn't cooperate. I'm sorry, Melissa. Sorry? Sorry is just not enough, Jason. Not if anything has happened to him. But Nilsa has been arrested. And those thugs aren't going to kill Sandy now. It's... He's a hostage. So see if the cops open up fire. Anybody could be killed. Melissa. Please try not to worry. <laughs> we don't know what went on. Chances are the cops caught Elsa's people, and Sandy and Jamie are on their way home. I just wish I could believe that. I wish it was true. We don't know it isn't. Oh, Jason, I'm so scared. I know, I know. Oh. Too. I'm scared for a lot of people. Listen, I sent most of the other men home. There's not much more work to be done around here. How are the victims? Yeah, it looks like he was killed instantly. The woman shot up pretty bad. They don't think she's going to make it. Well, I'm just glad that Frame and Alexander weren't uh, hurt any more in that barrage. Yeah, me too. They took Jamie Frame back to Bay City General. What about Alexander and the girl? Well, I didn't think we needed them anymore tonight. We can get their statements later. They've all been through enough already. Well, it doesn't look like I can do much more around here tonight, so I'll be leaving. Goodbye, Sheriff. Oh, Ewing. I didn't think you could pull it off. But you did a good job. Thanks a lot, Sheriff. See you. You look beat, Larry. You've been working around the clock for days. How about going home and getting some rest yourself? I can't. Not yet. We're about finished here. Go home, Larry. No, I have to go down the stage again and start filling out this report. Don't worry about the paperwork. It can wait. Won't be the first time. Besides, you're exhausted. You've got a wife at home who's probably worried sick about you by now. No, I had somebody give her a call. I still think she'd like to see you and make sure for herself. Yeah, you're probably right. Then go home. And let her see that you're safe. That's an order. All right. Thanks a lot, Captain. Larry. Yes, sir. You should be very proud of yourself. You did a great job. Thanks a lot. about the same. That's not good enough, is it? Well, we'd like to see him stronger, but he's holding his own. But what does that mean? Why don't they do something? Are they just going to stand around and watch him die? Rachel, Mac is getting excellent care. He's being closely monitored, and the doctors are doing everything they can for him right now. We just have to be patient. Could be a while before his condition changes. I just feel like I've been waiting for hours. Look, uh, there's nothing more you can do for Mac here. Why don't you go home and get some rest? I... I promise I'll call you if there's any change in his condition. I'm not going to leave the hospital till I know Mac is all right. Rachel, you're practically worn out. You need some rest. How can I rest when my son and my husband are still in danger? You mean you, you still haven't heard anything about Jamie? I haven't heard anything. I know that the kidnappers took him to the airfield, and that's all I know. Nobody's told me anything. <sighs> Look, I'll find out what I can for you, okay? Could you? Sure. It shouldn't be too hard. The news has been on top of this whole thing. 
Okay. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, Rachel. I'll come back as soon as I know anything. I didn't wake you up, did I? find out where she is? Well, the cops might know. Why don't you go down to the police station and find out instead of sitting around here? Well, it's uh, just easier to stay here for one thing. Why is that? You'll probably feel a lot better. Well, Matthew's asleep, and uh, I better not just leave him alone. Uh, well, I, uh, I'd watch him for you, but I don't know that much about kids, so I really haven't been around them all that much. I mean, if you woke up in the middle of the night and wanted something, I, well, I wouldn't know what to do. It's all right. It's no problem. I'll just stay here. Thank oh, you, though. That's all right. What about Rachel? Well, I'll hear from her. Why don't you just call the police station? Because she'll call. came as soon as I heard that they brought Mac here. I, they're driving me out of my mind. I, they're not telling me what's happened with Mac. I don't know what's happened with Jamie. All right, now, honey, come on. Now, try to take it easy, all right? Just, uh, tell me what the doctor said about well, Mac. Well, they're not telling me anything. They're saying that they're doing everything they can for him. Well, that must mean that he's doing better. No, he's not. He needs surgery, and he's too weak to be operated on. Well, now, look, Russell, just make sure that he gets through this. Well, what if he can't? Honey. And, well, what about Jamie? What's happened to him? Nobody knows anything. Nobody knows what happened out there. All I want to know is that he's all right. Well, I've been listening to the news. It's pretty confusing. Well, what do they say? Some uh, shots have been fired. But, is he uh, hurt? No, nobody knows if anybody's hurt. The police tried to keep the yeah, reporters away from the airfield. The kidnappers had, had, had Jamie and Sandy at gunpoint. Look, we don't know if Jamie's been hurt. Now, honey, you're just getting yourself more upset. I just don't know what I'm going to do if anything happens to either All right, of them. Now, don't think like that. I think Mitch should be here. No, he wouldn't want to be here. I think he would. You know how he feels. He, he's jealous of any time I spend with Mac and Jamie. He still believes that I'm in love with Mac. Are you? I'm worried about him. That's only natural. That's not what I asked you. Are you still in love with Mac? I'll always love him. Where does that leave Mitch? I love him, too. But I don't think he believes that. Well, look, why don't you, uh, why don't you call him now and tell him? Let him know. Okay. Mrs. Corey. Where's my son? He'll be right in there. Did they shoot him? No, 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 they haven't. The, the paramedics at the airfield just found Has he been he's, hurt? He's gonna be okay, really. All because really. of Sandy, Rachel. He saved Jamie's life at the airfield. He's really okay. What's, cool. What happened? Well, the, the kidnappers have been taken care of, okay? And Jamie's all right. It's just that they feel that he should go on with... 
Oh, Jamie. Ma. What have they done to you? I'm okay. Honey. I'm so glad you're home. So good to see you. I'm glad you're home. Me too. Listen. Oh, baby. Hi. How's Mac? They haven't told me anything. They wouldn't even listen, let me listen to the radio. Well, he's in intensive care. Intensive. He needs he needs surgery. Well, then why haven't they given it to him? Because he's not strong enough. He's not strong enough to survive the operation? You mean he could die? Yes, that's right. He could die. He's too weak to, to, to survive the surgery. But he's critical, then. Yes. Well, is, is there anything that... There's this... nothing anybody can do. Are you all right? Are yeah, you sure you you're all right? I'll, I'll be all right. Jamie, you shouldn't have walked in. Jamie, have you okay. heard any news from Mac? No, I'm sorry, Rachel. There's nothing new yet. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, you no, haven't heard No, any... Jamie, there's nothing. Listen, would, would you come with me? No, what? I'm... I want you to go into one Jamie, of the examining rooms. I told you rooms. I'm fine. The doctor fine. should have a look at you. I'm fine. Jamie, listen, I tell you what, go ahead and go, ahead and, go and, 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 and we'll tell you if there's any news, all right? Of course you No, I don't want to leave you until I hear about Jamie, Mac's condition. Jamie, I promise I'll let you know if anything happens. Go ahead, honey. We know where you are. Okay. You gonna be all right? Of course I will. You go with Mary Ann. Thank you, sir. I was glad to do what I could. Oh, no, no, the plane was never needed. It uh, never took off. Well, the last I heard, the uh, kidnappers were stopped before they reached the plane. Oh, really, sir, I, I didn't do anything. I just made a few phone calls. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll try to learn to accept compliments. <sighs> no, no, not, you didn't wake me, really. I was just uh, dozing for a minute. Yes, I, uh, well, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Uh, I mean, later today. All right. Thank you, sir. Well, goodbye, Mr. Ellen. This is Corey. Jamie's going to be fine, really. You know, Rick had a chance to examine him in the cabin, and he said he has some broken ribs, but that he's going to be okay. He didn't look okay to me. He was badly bruised, and he could hardly walk. Well, he had a pretty bad beating. Yes, I can see that. Look, I know that it's my fault, oh, and that Jamie... Oh, Rachel, Sandy saved Jamie's life. If he hadn't pushed him down, Jamie might be dead right now. Really? Look, I never wanted anything to happen to Jamie and Mac. They both mean a great deal to now, me. Now, look, this kind of talk isn't going to do anybody any good. Do Rachel... You've got to think about Jamie and Mac now. Blaming Sandy or anybody else is... Yes, but if it hadn't been for to... Sandy... Stop it, Rachel. Before you say something, you'd be sorry for. Now, why don't you go call Mitch? Go on. Go ahead. Sandy, I'm sorry. Rachel should never have acted that way. She was upset. Yeah, well, I really don't blame her. Oh, come on. It's true. You did save his life. Look, that was just a reflex, and I saved both of our skins. You still kept him from being shot. Yeah, well, I wish I felt better about it. Sandy, I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for what you've done. But I think I know what you mean. I wonder if I haven't already lost Jamie. What? I may have lost Jamie, Sandy. Cecile, you know that I Jamie... I know that Jamie loves me, yes. And he's my husband. But how much longer is he going to be able to deny his feelings for Marianne? Come on, I don't do this, Cecile. You're tired and you're upset. I know that when that day comes, I'll have lost him forever. You're wrong, Cecile. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go in and, and talk to him. If he's okay, I'm sure that I'll want to see you right away. Sandy, I don't think so. I know that Jamie wants you to be with him. Why should he? There's no room for me now. He already has who he wants with him. Jamie, I know it hurts. Just you don't have to do that. It's not that bad. Is that why you can barely stand to have me touch you? I'm fine. Jamie, I have to get your face clean. Do, do they know what room we're in? Do they know where they can find me? If there's any news at all, the nurse at the desk knows where to find Good. you. It's okay. Ah, it's okay. 
Jamie, it'll make you feel a lot better. The only thing that's going to make me feel better is to know that Mac is all right. Jamie, he's getting the very best possible care. They're going to do everything they can to make sure Mac gets well. I hope you're right. Just try not to think of the worst. He's going to get better. What if he doesn't? Jamie, look. I know it's not an easy thing to face. When I lost my father, I, I thought I'd never get over it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I have very happy memories of my father. That's what I remember now when I think of him. It's all the good times we spent together. I know, I know. <laughs> I, keep, I keep remembering things I thought I'd forgotten, you know? Times that I spent together with Mac. Things we did together as a family. But, Jamie, Mac isn't going to die. You'll see. He's going to make it. I know he will. I want to believe that. Oh, Jamie. It's okay. Marianne, I don't want to lose him. I can't lose him. It's okay, Jamie. I understand. They just rushed Mac and Jamie here. How are they? Jamie's badly beaten up, but he's going to be okay. But Mac is in critical condition. Okay, well, I'm on my way down there. You don't have to. Listen, I know how you feel about it. Yeah, look, I know, I know. You shouldn't be alone by yourself. But what about Matthew? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. I'll see you. Okay, thanks. Bye. I'll be there. seen him? Yeah, he, uh, he should be back in a few minutes. Is he okay? He's fine. Seal, are you sure? He's fine. He's perfect. He saved all of our lives. Sandy. Of course, Sandy. Once again, he came to the rescue. I don't know what we would have done without him. Well, listen. Oh. 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 Oh, I don't believe it. Please, just, just tell me I'm not dreaming. <laughs> no, you're not dreaming. We're home. Love him so he'll never know. All my life is just his fear, but I don't care. When he takes me in his arms, the world is bright. All right. Hey, Clarice! Larry! Oh, I've been so worried about you. Oh, honey, I'm so glad you're home. Oh, I'm fine. If I didn't, somebody call me. No, Sasha the Anderson call me, you know, but I just want to hear your voice. No, is that why you're up at 4 a.m.? Oh, well, I couldn't sleep, and I thought maybe I could make Corey's lunch, and I thought maybe you'd be hungry, too. I am hungry. I didn't mean for you to worry so much, though. Oh, well, I, I just wish you could have called me yourself. I didn't have time. I really didn't. Things were happening so fast I up know, there. I know. You know, I, I heard everything. Philip called me and he said that you saved the day. Well, he's probably stretching it a bit. No, honey. He said you really were a hero out there. I'm, I was not a hero. I was doing my job. I just knew that I had to be cool until we got to the right time. Philip said that there's some people alive because of you. Well, he's probably just trying to make it a big deal. You know, he needs a big story oh, for the ledger. You. That's what it is. You're my hero. I'm so glad you're home, honey. Uh, me too, baby. Me too. How are you feeling? A bit better. Lying down should help take the pressure off your ribs. 
I'm fine. How is he? He's fine. We've done everything we can, Rachel. Thank you. How are you really, honey? I'm okay. Have you heard anything else about Mac? No, not yet. Well, I don't understand. What are they doing in there? I mean, I... Why are they waiting so long? Honey, they have to wait until his condition stabilizes before they can operate. It would be too dangerous if he's too weak. What are his chances? Not good. He went into cardiac arrest in the ambulance. And he could die. He could really die. I mean, he's here in the hospital Honey, and he could still listen, die. We can't do this. We've got to believe he's going to be all right. I know. I know that, but I'm still scared. I know, so am I. But, honey, listen to me. When you and Mac were in that cabin, I felt totally helpless. There wasn't anything I could do except believe that you and Mac would be all right and that I would see you again. Now, we got to do the same thing for Mac. We have to believe he's going to be all right. I want to. All right, then just do it, all right? How's Cecile? She's all right. She's out there with Sandy. Good. She shouldn't be alone. She's not. Mom, she saved my life. And Max. She was the one who figured out that Sandy and I switched identities. Mom, if it wasn't for her, Sandy would still be in the Harrow Clinic and I'd be dead in the cabin. She saved my life, Mom. I know that. Thanks for How are you, Jamie? I'm fine. I wish I could say the same about Mac. Jamie, remember what we said? Sandy. I'm just thinking about Mac and Jamie. Well, thanks to you, everything's going to be okay. Oh, yeah, right. If it hadn't been for me, they would have been hurt in the first oh, place. Oh, Sandy, don't even think like that. Well, what else am I supposed to think? You know, ever since I came to Bay City, I've been nothing but trouble for the people I care you about. You have not. You've been a good friend to Jamie and me, and you know how Mac feels about you. He'll always be grateful to you for saving Jamie's life more than once. I just can't help but feel it. Well, it, if it weren't for me, Jamie wouldn't have been hurt, and now maybe Mac is going to die. Sandy, it's not your fault. Look, they know that you never wanted anything like this to happen. Jamie and Mac wanted to help you because you were always there for them when they needed you. For me, too. I don't think I could have made it through these last few months without you. I just listened, that's all. You did more than that. I always knew that I could turn to you when things got really bad with Jamie. I'll never forget what you've done for me, Sandy. Please don't blame yourself. No, but my past has forget caused so past. much... Forget your past. It's not important now. What? You are so special to all of us. Especially to me. I don't know what I would have done without you. Thanks, I see. What? For saying the right things. It's just the truth. You feel better. Yeah. Thanks to you, I do. What is it, Russ? I'm sorry, Rachel. There is no news. I just came in to take a look at Jamie. I'm fine. How's Mac? No, you're not fine. It doesn't take a doctor to see that. I either. said I'm fine. Now, you didn't answer me. Is he going to be all right? But there is no change in his condition. Is he not getting stronger? No. But if he doesn't get stronger, what's going to happen? Rachel, we can only wait so long. We will have to operate eventually. But that could be dangerous if he doesn't improve, could it? Yeah. Yes, I would feel a lot more optimistic if we had more time. I just don't know how long we can yes, delay. Yes, but if you operate before he's strong enough, he, he might not survive. L Rachel, I wish I could tell you what you want to hear. 
But you know Mac's condition is very critical. So you're saying he could die? Yes. Yes, there is a possibility that we could lose him on the table. Russ, you can't let that happen. Jamie, unless Mac's condition improves so that we can operate safely, well, it's possible that he will die. each weekday at this time for the continuing story of Another World.